Adam, Rip Adam Rippon is with us now live from Beijing. Adam won the bronze medal in the figure skating team event at the games back in 2018. Adam, thanks so much. Are you as outraged by this decision as your former teammates? I'm as outraged as anybody, and I think just like everybody here, I, you know, the decision does not make any sense to us. And I think, you know, at the same time, our heart breaks for this 15 year old who finds herself in this situation. I feel because of the result of the failed actions taken by the people around her. But, you know, my heart also breaks for everyone in this event, everyone here at the Olympics, and especially in this ladies event competing on Tuesday, that's going to compete in an event that we know isn't fair. They're not even going to hold a medal ceremony if she's in the top three, because they're that certain that she's not clean. That is not what the Olympics is about. And if an athlete has a positive test, they should not be able to compete. And if we're talking about irreparable harm, what about the irreparable harm that's being done to the Olympics? And if they're that concerned of her mental well-being, get her out of here. For an event that has such limited capacity of people here, it is a complete circus every time she's out there on the ice. And I can't imagine what it's doing to her well-being. Like she, they should try to get her to some counseling. They should get her to experts to help deal with the situation, mm -hmm. not postponing it until she gets home. And if she's in the top three, we'll eventually be stripped of that medal. And, you know, comparing this to Carrie Richardson is just, it's kind of absurd because... Shakari Richardson was working under one set of standards, and it was immediate. And in this case, it, it's like everybody plays by different rules. I don't get it. Right. The Russians play by their own rules. And in the case of Shakari Richardson, you know, she, an athlete who we all were so excited to cheer for um, in Tokyo, um, test positive for marijuana. And, uh, you know, USADA, the U.S. anti-doping agency, right away saying a failed test is a, a failed test. Shakari, the next day, all over the news, apologizing and taking taking accountability because Shakari has integrity and Shakari is a champion and she will persevere and and I think that we'll all be cheering for her at the next Olympics in Paris. Camilla's test was done by Rusada, which is the Russian anti-doping right. agency. Which already, I mean, the, you know, what are they doing? Uh, obviously, they're they, you know, so they took her sample. And um, it came back positive. She was flagged immediately um, and suspended. And the suspension was lifted the same day. So the Russian anti-doping agency is living on a completely different moral compass and, and universe to think that this is OK. And that that just because she's a minor, um, that like that she can continue to compete. I mean, it's everybody's rolling their eyes and I, I think have lost a lot of faith in the entire process. Mm -hmm. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.